What's up divers? In today's video we're going to be talking about two different styles of BCDs and the pros and cons for both of them. Let's get to it. Welcome to our channel, Asul Unlimited, where we teach all things scuba diving. My name is Sarah, and I wanted to share this video because I wish that someone had told me these things before I purchased my first BCD. During this video, I'm not going to be uh, talking about brands or anything, although you can, um, I should cover. <laughs> The brands that we have here to me a lot of the brands out there are making fantastic quality bcds so what i wanted to cover here is just style okay things to consider when you're deciding between a jacket style bcd and a wing style bcd So this one here that we have is a really standard style. You'll find the jacket style BCD available in just about every single brand. And this is, to me, my preferred style for um, any beginner divers, as well as for you future instructors out there. And I'll tell you why. The jacket style BCD is very, very simple. There's not much to it for sizing, okay? you get different sizes in the, the jacket. This one's a medium, okay? So you just get whatever size works for your body, but then there's no involved kind of fitting with it. You just put it on and go diving. The bladder is really simple. So when you inflate your BCD, it fills up evenly all around. Okay, you can feel it getting bigger all around your body. This style will allow you to be upright at the surface really easily. It will also allow you to lay back really, really easy. Another thing that I really like is the fact that it they tend to have really great pockets. Okay. This is really useful, especially for those of you who are looking to be instructors. Pockets are huge. They allow you to carry easy to, to reach extra weights. Your SMB can be stored here. Cutting devices, slates, slates for teaching, that's really helpful. Again, for beginners, it's also preferred because, you know, these are the, the cheaper uh, BCDs, and so most of you are going to learn on a jacket-style BCD. Therefore, you're going to feel most comfortable with it. You're going to have the most experience with it. Different parts of these BCDs, you have dump valves, okay, places where you can release the air very quickly. Obviously, you have your regular inflator hose. We've got another dump valve back here. Okay, just a really standard BCD. Now, reasons that people maybe grow out of this BCD and want a different style is primarily their function underwater. Although it is possible and very comfortable to get that horizontal trim underwater, other styles like the wing BCD really get you in that position much easier and they allow for horizontal hovering without as much effort. So let's talk about the wing style. Now the example that I have here is sort of a intermediate. It's like a jacket style BCD and a wing BCD came together and had a baby and created this BCD. Mm. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. Um, I'll talk about this style and then go on and talk about the, the regular wing style BCD as well. So this BCD, it looks very similar. Looks very similar to a jacket style BCD. Okay, it has all the same parts, the same waistband, but you can see that this wing really comes out here. It's not connected to the shoulder and the body part of the jacket. Okay, and the reason for that is because when you're diving, okay, you're horizontal and there's air in the BCD, basically these parts will go up and wrap around the tank. And what that does is it creates the position. It lets you get into that horizontal position very, very easily. This particular style of jacket wing intermediate, <laughs> uh, it's not my favorite. I'm. This is my personal harness. And even though it has been wonderful, I've done thousands of dives on this 
BCD and it has never failed me. It's just, it's a solid, solid piece of equipment. But for me, I, I found that this wing is actually very big. This is what a standard wing looks like. You can see that it's just much smaller. Like this has, this particular BCD has a huge volume to it. And although in safety issues, I, I know that this BCD can get me out of any kind of wild current, down current, anything that I could find myself in. But for just like regular diving, it's really, really large. And the problem with that is that the air can get trapped in some of these parts, right? It's so big that air can get trapped. So you really have to move your body around to get all of the air out of the BCD. This may not be an issue for you if you're just fun diving. What I've found is that for me in teaching, it is a bit of a hassle because a lot of times I am carrying extra weight. And so when I hand off that weight, it can be uncomfortable. I mean, obviously I've dealt, I've been diving with it for many, many years, so I deal, but I know that once I need to get a new BCD, I will not be getting this style. The other reason why I wouldn't get this style is because there are no pockets, okay? here is the integrated weight pocket and there's no pockets for like extra stuff. The only thing you have, and you can watch out for this, if you do want pockets, sometimes they stick these in there. So there technically is a pocket, but it hangs down. So for one, you have to be really careful that it doesn't touch anything while you're diving. If you do have something inside of it, that it's not rubbing against coral, it's not molesting any of the marine life. Um, so that's just an extra thing to kind of worry about, whereas it would be just nicer if it was an integrated pocket. Again, if you're just a recreational diver, then maybe a style, this kind of BCD would be perfectly fine for you. But those of you who are looking to teach in the future, it's, there are things that you really want to consider just to make your life easier as an instructor or dive master. Remember, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos. With the standard wing style BCD, it is a much more fitted setup and harness. It's similar to side mount in that you want to fit the harness so that it it's nice and comfortable and it fits to your body perfectly, but it's not as involved as the side mount harness setup. If you want to see what I'm talking about with that particular setup, you can see the link in the description below where I talk you through how to set up a side mount harness. So that being said, it's a really basic setup with just webbing and the wing at the back. People who dive with it absolutely love it. It's very, very comfortable underwater. Again, it allows you to stay perfectly horizontal very, very easily. The cons to a wing style harness, they do tend to make you face down and horizontal. So being at the surface can sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable. Like I've experienced that with teaching the rescue course and you're trying to teach someone to do rescue breaths. And if somebody is in a wing harness, they are constantly trying to, you know, the, the wing just wants you to be face down and horizontal. So that can be a, a tricky thing if you're looking to teach or guide. If it's just for fun diving, then it's really, really comfortable. Other things to consider when you're buying a harness are, you know, D-rings. I really personally love having a couple of these metal D-rings at my shoulders. That's really helpful just to do quick clips. You'll also want to consider your alternate air source. I've really only seen this as like a common equipment preference in California where a lot of people will choose to have the alternate air source connected to the BCD. I don't usually recommend those styles of BCDs. So basically the idea is that you have your regular uh, regulator and if you need to share air with someone, you take your regulator out and you give that to the person and then you switch over to your regulator that's attached to your BCD. Again, it's perfectly fine to have that style if you are just fun diving. If you're moving, if you know that you're going to move on to become, you know, an instructor where you're going to have to teach the skills and stuff, it's much better just to have the standard setup with the long octopus. It's good to buy a brand that is reliable, that has stood the test of time. It's okay to buy maybe not the most expensive BCD, but as long as you spend 
enough money to get a good, reliable brand like Scuba Pro, Mares, Aqualung, gosh, what else do we have here? Cressy. All of these brands, they are well known in the diving industry. So even if you get like their lower level BCD, they are going to last for a really long time as long as you take care of them. Aside from that, the most important thing that you need is a good fit. So you really shouldn't worry about, you know, the color or how it looks. Like really the most important thing is that it is a well-made piece of material and it fits you really, really well. If you're in the market for buying new equipment, the best thing to do is to talk to your diver friends, ask them what they think about it. If they're nearby, you can ask to try out their equipment and that way you get a really good feel for what you're investing your money in. You know, diving equipment is not cheap, so you want to be happy with the equipment that you're purchasing. So I hope that this was helpful and that it will allow you to make a really good choice when you're getting your next BCD. So if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you have any questions about BCDs, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that. Just hit that little subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey. So, did you subscribe? It's just that button down there, so, you know, it, it's not so hard. It's really not so hard. Just uh, click it. While you're here, check out one of these videos on the side. Just click one. Thanks a lot. See you next time.